Are you in the bar? So your BB-8 socks now. I have been trying to give you those BB-8 socks for like a while. Because <laughs> that's such a hard task. Mm -hmm. We are going to Hollywood Studios today. I'm actually wearing the uh, Mandalorian palette from ColourPop. Who shocked no one? Got the space buns. Got the t-shirt. The only sad thing is it's supposed to be storming all day, so good day to wear a white t-shirt. Jordan is rocking his BB-8 socks. He's excited. It's Star Wars Day. running there as you see the crowd and that's not including the resort guests <laughs> Just and uh, finished Rise of Resistance ride and it was amazing. Well worth the wait, 100%. Um, Jordan is like still giddy. <laughs> oh man, 100% worth it. Unfortunately, it's like raining now. So, but we're gonna go meet up with some of our uh, with our other group because I didn't get to go on it yet. But uh, maybe we'll go try Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. But oh my gosh. 100% worth the wait to go to Rise of Resistance. beef stir fry. This actually looks really good, yeah. to be honest. But it is so cool in here. I just can't get over the details, man. The details. You're in another world as soon as you walk into Star Wars land.
And now that I have gotten that taken care of, I should probably clarify one thing. Everything that you're looking at in here, it looks a lot like old junk, right? Yes. Okay, so I know it does, but some of this is new junk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> we call ourselves the gatherers because we get that excited about finding the old and new junk, and we find it in the forgotten places. We go to abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged lands, and the relics that are left behind, we bring here to the workshop. That way, if a stormtrooper came through that door, they would just see a lot of worthless clutter. But all of us know, this is priceless history. Now, you know the legend of Luke Skywalker, yes? Yes. 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 Very good. We hear there's another, a new Jedi. Does anyone know her name? Ray. Ray. Yes, right, Ray. But Ray is leading into the spark of hope that we've been waiting for. That spark brought each and every one of you here today to look ahead. It's a new beginning. And to build this. The lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The lightsaber is a reflection of the builder with the force flowing between them. And today, you will all get the chance to experience that very connection. But enough talk. Shall we begin? Yes! Very good. We begin with perhaps the most important element, the Kyber Crystal. The Kyber Crystal is able to focus the energy of the Force and magnify it. Some say the Kyber Crystal is the heart of the lightsaber, because the color of the crystal determines the color of the blade. You may have heard of some of these crystals in the greatest Jedi legends in history. The blue crystal, wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. And now, red. The green crystal, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal. This one is very rare and very beautiful, just like the one wielded by Mace Windu. And red. Some call this the color of power. Wielded by Dark Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren. But these are all the stories of the past. We are here for you our future. It is now time to choose your Kyber crystal, but first take a moment, close your eyes. What crystal do you see in your mind? Which crystal calls to you? The color might surprise you. Choose that crystal in your mind. Now open your eyes. Select your Kyber crystal. Make 
I like that. Yeah. yeah. So all right, we move on. This is your switch here. Toggle it down and toggle it up. We want to hear a sparking noise. Perfect. Yeah. To build the body. It's up to you. On the top, on the bottom, it's up to you. So you either want to go on either side? Okay.
choose your path, it cannot, but like your way, it can. May the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. Builders, it is your hands who hold remarkable power. Remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even get to take, take a look down this street. No. So we just finished uh, building a lightsaber, so Jordan did. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, amazing. That was such a cool experience. Got it all on film too. So. Yep. Uh, you probably already just saw the clips. Um, depends on how we edit it. <laughs> but right now we're just gonna kind of walk around. Unfortunately, it's been like a crappy rainy day. But it actually hasn't been I mean, too it's bad. It's been raining, but it's, it hasn't really made the day crappy. Really, no, honestly, it's, it's been like it's been really days. good. And honestly, the wait line, the wait times, or all this stuff that we've done haven't been bad either. So yeah, Rise of the Resistance when we got in there, it said it was like 75, 80 minutes, and we ended up like being done with the ride in 60. So yeah, it was great. So we're just gonna walk around, probably shop a little bit, and then we'll probably end the day and just go chill because tomorrow is universal and we definitely need a lot of uh, energy for that so oh, for sure <laughs> a lot uh, of thrill rides coming her way oh i'm not mad at that at all i'm not mad at that at all <laughs> <Don't want me. laughs> yeah definitely